Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I'm here on, in my office on the other side of the office where I have my video editing workstation. And uh, this has been a Hackintosh, uh, Windows machine, Linux machine, the whole bit. Um, I got an i5, Intel i5, 8400, six core processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, I got three SSDs, an RX 580 Radeon video card. Uh, it's a super machine. It's not top of the line. It's not screaming fast, but it's stable. And that's what I like. If it takes me a little longer to do something, I'm good because I'm not crashing and crashing and burning. Um, I have a Dell 2317 monitor. It's 1080p, which is fine. I've got it on an Amazon Basics arm, which gives me room here to put stuff. You know, I got my speakers, amplifier, my pad, uh, just a standard keyboard and mouse. But I want to upgrade this. I want to put a 27 in. And I found a really good deal on the Dell. And I like Dell monitors because I've got several for work and everything. And I've had them for years. And, and they just do a good job. Uh, they're very clear. And they don't cost a fortune. And that's what we're all in this for. To not cost a fortune. So I found a Dell E2720H monitor. It's 1080p still because... It's fine for what I do. I still I put videos up 4K, but I do all the editing 1080. Um, display port and VGA out, VESA mount like this one is, where you have the four screws on the back on a little plate, so you have room. I uh, got it for $159, where it's regularly 219, I believe. So we're gonna unbox this, stick it on here, and look and see what we got. Y'all stay with us. All right, so I got my pliers out here, so we're gonna take the strapping off. I know it wasn't going anywhere. Wow, okay. Protection. It's E2720H. The 20 represents that it was it's this year's model because I've got a couple of uh, 2319s, 2317. So that's how you designate that. And then the, I think the E is uh, their value line. So that's what I like getting the value. <clears throat> Run away from me. Oh. Alrighty. So like I said, this is display port out. So we got a power cable, a really nice uh, display port cable here. You got the setup instructions and some legal legal stuff and something else. We'll look at that in a minute. There's a cover of some sort. Probably if you're not going to use the vase amount. Never had a monitor that had so many little bags in it. Okay, and that's the stand if if you're going to use the uh, regular stand. That's the, the foot. We are not going to use that. This is the other part of the stand. And I always keep this stuff and uh, I always keep the box, at least until the warranty's out. 
We won't be using that. Some more sacrificial cardboard. Hey, one thing, they package these things well. And the one thing I like about the new monitors, they have a, a pretty thin bezel around and it's anti-glare. It's not one of the glossy screens. So here's the Vesa part of it where you get the four screws. So we'll have to take those out. And we do have DisplayPort, VGA, and Power. This is a no frills monitor. It doesn't have speakers and USB connections and all that stuff. I didn't want that. So we'll, uh, we'll get all this out of the way. All right, to show you the differences in screen real estate, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. This is a 23 inch monitor. That's my favorite place on Carter's Lake right there. It's the most beautiful place there. So if I open up my video editing software, this is DaVinci Resolve. I, I bounced around two or three different softwares, but I keep coming back to DaVinci Resolve because it's free. So we're going to open it up. And I usually have a, a nice chair here where I'm sitting down doing this, but I'm going to stand up and do it. So if I uh, just open up a just a project that I have. You can see that I have my timeline. Let me get down here to my timeline. I got all my media, my effects, what I'm looking at, and then my timeline here. And uh, with 23 inches, it's just, I really need two monitors, but being just a solo video editing machine, I just wanted one monitor. So, um, so yeah, this is what I'm looking at on a 23 inch screen. All right, so I'm gonna shut this thing down, power everything down, and I'm gonna take this monitor off the arm bring the new monitor on, run my cable to the computer, and uh, I'll speed up through that, and then we'll look at it once I have it assembled. Okay, 
Now that I got all that mess put together, it's all clean. I, I got one cable I need to get rid of right there, but we'll go ahead and uh, tell it to go to display port. Turn the computer on. And we'll see if we get a display port signal here. I hope we do. Well, I like the size of it. It looks really good. And that looks like a display port input. And DisplayPort, it's the, it's the nicest uh, high definition signal there is. So it's, uh, I've got a video I want to do. I've been writing a script for, oh, look at that. <clears throat> that looks great. That looks great. Everything, everything worked. Uh, still 1080, but um, it really looks great. And if I open up my editing software, I mean, it feels like you're at the lake. Let me look at it on, from your perspective. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's nice and bright. A lot of the monitors that you can buy that are a little bit lower spec rating, you know, lower price. God, look how that, <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, the the timeline now is, it's great. I can scrub. You can see my kid there holding a bass. Bass weighs 13 pounds. Um, a lot of the monitors are not bright. They go by a brightness of knit. And a lot of them are around 200, 250, which are very, very dull. This one's 300, which I thought was better. You know, you can get monitors that are five, six thousand nits that will just about blind you. And uh, but they're really expensive, and I didn't want to pay that much. Um, it looks great. Let me let me pull the specs up on this thing, and I'll uh, I'll show you. All right, now I'll put a link to this in the website, but it's $159 at the Dell online shop. If I go to the tech specs on it, it's a 16 by 9 monitor, uh, IPS panel, 19 by 10 at 60 hertz, 300 nits brightness. Uh, it's got a 5 millisecond response time, so it's not a gaming monitor. Uh, you know, gaming monitors one to two millisecond response time. This is five. But this is fine for video editing. Uh, VGA and DisplayPort. It weighs uh, almost 13 pounds. Vesa mount or a stand that goes under it here. Uh, it's got a three year warranty. 16.7 million colors. And like I said, for the price, you. I don't think you can beat it. Uh, but boy, the size, I mean, I've got a 29 or a 32 inch TV here. I think it's 32. Uh, it's almost as big, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, there'll be, there'll be links to all this in the, in the description and uh, we'll end it right there. It's long enough, but I hope everybody's doing well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button. Hit the little bell to be notified. Uh, right now, I think we're at 365 subscribers, and I can't thank you enough. It's, it's cool. Um, I, in this crazy time that's going on right now, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, hope everybody's getting along and being good to your friends and neighbors and family. And uh, this was just uh, a video to help you if you want to build up your machine, uh, have a little nicer work area. You know, this work, work from home would be good. If I had two of these over on this one. Um, but uh, anyway, until the next video, thanks for watching.